Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you are all having a wonderful day, and I know I am. And as a reminder, please remember it's Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And if you could please read up on information about domestic violence, that would be wonderful. Teach yourself about it and how you can help others. Also, um, if you all need to talk, I'm here to talk to. You can place a comment in there letting me know. Just say hi and I'll say hi back or if you just like I said, need a talk, let me know in the comments, and I'll respond. But of course, don't take it the wrong way if I don't respond immediately. I might be at work, so I'm not the type that just ignores people. And of course, you know, please don't put any bad stuff in there, like inappropriate comments in the comment section. Thank you. <laughs> And I wish y'all peace and love, happiness, kindness goes a long way. I know even the smallest kind gesture could help so many people and you have no idea how much it makes their days better. And okay. Today, I cooked something <laughs> um, during lunchtime, and I got back home um, with John from errands, and what I cooked was um, natural chicken breast with, um, sorry, with cranberry and sauerkraut, and how I did it was that I poked holes into the chicken breast. And I put garlic powder, I put um, oregano, and I also put some paprika powder with it. And then I mixed it with some sauerkraut and some cranberry sauce. And I've made this before and it's yummy. And I know I posted in one of my videos, I guess, maybe, like, I should show you it, and this is what I'm showing to you. This is what it looks like, chicken, cranberry sauerkraut chicken, and I baked it for, um, around 30 minutes in a 375 degree oven. This is just part of it, not the full amount. So, I mean what I have on my plate, I should say. <laughs> so let's go try it now. What is your favorite type of chicken? Just let me know in the comments. I don't know if I have a favorite type of chicken. <laughs> but I do know I I do prefer the organic natural chicken because I know I'm still eating it, but at least they don't have the antibiotics or hormones in them. Not good, but um, flavoring of the chicken that I put it with and the sourness of the sauerkraut and then the cranberries, the sweetness with it, it's really good. I did think about putting that um, 
fire sauce on it, but I decided not to. I'm gonna save it for sushi someday. Mm. Or I might dip in something else. Or dip something else with it, I should say. <laughs> Sorry. This is really good. Delicious. Wow, it looks like a really yummy bite. I'm really enjoying this meal. If y'all decide to try cooking it, please let me know in the comments how it goes. And if you try it, I wish you much success and I hope it really tastes good to you. I feel if there was spice in this, it will bring something else to it. Mm. Maybe I should try it with some s spicy sauce. I think, like, since I've tried it one time, try and play with spicy sauce, and I think I needed to add more. So next time I'll just add more than last time I did with spicy sauce.
That was a nice meal. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all try and make the chicken and let me know how it goes in the comments. I wish you much success in it too. And be happy, enjoy life, be kind to each other. My name is Rachel, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your time.